Our youth today, they're not seeing a decline of the community. They're actually seeing a revitalization of the community. Walt Hill board chair Mike Grant grew up in a different Walt Hill. And I was a teen in the 90s. So back then we had like, for this small town, we had like three restaurants. We had a laundromat. We had three grocery stores. We want to be able to bring that back. That's, that's the goal that I have. Starting in 2016, Grant and the Village Board established four objectives, housing, job creation, renewable energy, and community facilities. So I think we've made some progress with every one of those. The town started adding solar panels in 2018, and now it's seen job creation through the business incubator that just opened. It's for startup businesses. The rent is is very cost effective for startups. As for housing, developer Kevin Connett and the Sherwood Foundation plan to refurbish three houses this year. Plus, the village and tribe of Omaha are now land swapping. This building here is going to be part of that swap. And we're going to take this building down and then we're going to do a, a boys and girls club. On the fourth objective, facilities, Walt Hill saw its fire hall renovated and a new library in the past two years, and now looks forward to a million dollar community center. But there still lies the same challenges that shook Walt Hill three decades ago, as Grant sees when the board discusses building a new school. And I'll, and I'll say that a lot of the farmers here don't want to see that happen, you know, because I've heard some of the ignorance that's come out of farmers, and I don't think they realize that I heard them, one or two of them, mentioned a very negative thought about our kids that go to school here. You're, you're wasting money on, on these kids, like this new gym here. Grant says stereotypes about their community dissuade investors. People who just come in and see, and, they, and of course they know this is a village that's on a reservation. They'll see something like this and be like, oh gosh, this, you know, man, this is, you know, God, these natives are dirty and they're, they're this and they're that. They're going to think stuff like that. Not knowing that almost all of these properties, almost all of them, are owned by non-native individuals. In Walt Hill, those bumps are always going to be there. We just have to keep getting stronger and keep moving forward. Carolyn Conti, News Channel, Nebraska.